Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be filming a really fun video. I'm going to be doing my nails for my glow up, my summer glow up that was in the last video. Um, anyways, today I'm going to be using the Beatles Gel Polish um, Nail Extension Gel Kit. And I've used it once before, but I wanted to try it out once just to see how to do it best so then I can show you guys the best way to do it. Um, in the set, you get four different colors. It comes with white, clear, dark pink, and light pink. And today, I'm going to use the dark pink. I used light pink last week, which was really super cute as well. I guess I'm I'm not gonna make this like a really tutorial or anything. Maybe later on, if I want to, I'll get into a tutorial. But for right now, I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. Okay guys, so there are two different types of dual forms. And one of them is more flat, while the other one is a little more curved. Last time I did it, I used the flat one, um, but I didn't end up liking it because it's just, I thought when I looked at the curved one, I was like, okay, that's like too curved. I don't like that. So I went with the flatter one, but then it just does not look natural and it doesn't stick to the edge of my actual nail because it's not curved enough. So we're going with the curvy one and hopefully it turns out good. I'm pretty sure it will. I guess I'm just going to start with my pinkies. This is one of the sets of dual forms. It comes with four. It has a lot and you can reuse them so um, it's going to last a long time. So I'm just going to go through and find the best one for the pinky. I'm going to do ten. If you get this set, that's the one I used for my pinky. And I'm just going to take it off. The next thing you do is you take your poly gel. This is what color it is. It's probably gonna look a little darker when it's done. All right guys, so the first step I'm going to do is by preparing my actual nails so that they're ready for the nail, the false nails, the poly gel nails. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to um, trim my cuticles and file my actual nails a little bit even though they're extremely short but just clean up around there okay so the next thing you have to do is you have to roughen up your nails so that the fake nail sticks to it um it just basically you take a file like this one in the kit it has one for you so you wouldn't have to worry i'm taking the roughest side which sounds so bad to do to your nails but it's gonna help it stay way longer and you just go over it on the top and make it really rough it makes it so that the nail has something to grab onto so otherwise it's just gonna fall off in a little bit anyways that's what it looks like compared to my other nails it's a lot rougher <laughs> it feels wrong to do that to your nail and if you were growing it out, it would be wrong, but because we're putting something over it, it's going to help it. Anyways, you're going to go and do that to all of your nails to prepare to put on the fake nails. Okay, so they're all roughened up. The next thing you do is you're going to go in with your um, base gel, foundation gel. This is going to also help the um, poly gel stay longer. One thing you do need that didn't come in the kit that I got is a UV lamp or an LED lamp for drying it. So you do need that. If you don't have one, you're going to have to get it separately if you don't get or if you get the same kit that I got, which I'll have linked in the description if you're interested. So you're just going to take the gel and it's this one's just like nail polish you're just gonna put it on like normal nail polish it's not gonna dry like normal nail polish you have to dry under the UV lamp be careful not to get it on your skin it's not going to hurt it but 
it's going to dry to your skin, which is just annoying. I'm just going to dry it under my lamp really quick. Um, and then afterwards, you're going to do all the rest of your nails as well. And then we can get into making the dual forms. Well, after you've finished curing your first layer of the foundation base coat, it's going to feel kind of sticky on top. So I'm just going to take some of my acetone and put it on this cotton pad um, and just take off this kind of sticky layer. It's not going to take off all of it. It's just the weird feeling. Weird, almost kind of wet-ish feeling. When you guys try it out for the first time, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Make sure that you don't have any fuzzies from the um, from the cotton pad because then it'll get in the way of making your nails. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the pinky, and I'm going to go in with the dark pink today. I took a little out with the spatula thing. You'll also get one of these in the kit, and then just put it onto the form. So the next step, you're supposed to use a slip solution or alcohol. I didn't have either, but I do have 100% uh, pure acetone. So I was like, I don't know if it's going to destroy it or not. Let me just try it. But last time, it worked perfectly. Nothing happened. So if you guys have, you could probably use normal um, nail polish remover as well. So <clears throat> yeah whatever you have don't use water I don't think that would work but alcohol um, nail polish remover acetone um, slip solution if you have it you know it's really sticky which is why you need a slip um, solution so I'm just gonna dip the end of the brush into the acetone and then use it to spread the um, the gel out into the form it is hard to like <laughs> even if you guys ask me how much to put into the form it's really just hard to tell because it's different for each size of form it's different for how long you want the nail to be so it really changes there's really no best way to do it i would just say it comes with trial and error and you just gotta keep trying until you get a hang of it and then eventually it might just come to you and you'll know i guess so I'm just spreading it out into the form you want it to be even I also would suggest making it thinner around the cuticle area of the nail. It'll look better after the nail is on. Obviously not super thin, but thinner than you would make the rest of it. Make sure there aren't any bubbles. Luckily, it doesn't dry, and so you can really mess around with it as much as you want before you cure it because Sometimes it takes a while just to make it sure it looks really good. Also the sides, you want to make sure have enough of the gel as well because otherwise they will be too thin and will crack. I'm going to get a little bit more because the sides are a little thin. And of course, your first time probably isn't going to be the best time. I think it would probably still turn out good, but you're going to get better as you do it more and more often. It takes a long time to perfect. It's been a few weeks since I've done it, so I'm just like getting back into the swing of things. All right, I'm ready to put it onto my nail. You're putting it on, but you're kind of gonna push it. Ugh, it's hard to explain. Honestly, guys, it's just, it comes with trial and error. So you're gonna squish it on, but don't squish it on too much because you don't want all of it to flood out of it and make a big mess. Then underneath, you're going to go in with your brush and just kind of make it a little bit prettier and less chunky underneath. Also, clean up the sides. You don't want any of it on your skin. You're ready to cure it. Okay, so I just finished curing it. 
The next part is so satisfying because now you take the dual form off and you kind of just pinch it together and just take it off and look at that pretty color. At this point you want to make sure it's not too thin on some of the areas because if it is you want to go over and put another layer on top of it just to reinforce it, make sure it's strong enough. But I think mine is pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and do all of the other ones just the exact same way I just did that one. And then I'll show you guys what I do next. So I have finished putting all of them on. Um, they need to be filed next, but in some of the areas they are a little thin, which always happens. I mean, it's really hard to have that not happen your first few times. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more of the gel to make it thicker, but what you have to do is it's going to be like your nails where you have to file it down first so then it can still stick to it, otherwise it's just going to peel off eventually. So like on my thumb right here at the corners on the edges, it's a little thin. So I'm going to take my file and just roughen it up on those edges. So I did it on the two sides. Now I'm going to basically just freehand it, get some of this, put it on my spatula like that, and then put a little bit of it on each corner. Then you're just going to take your brush and just spread it out on those parts that were thin, make them a little bit thicker. You don't have to even it out a whole lot because you can just file it down afterwards. I also like to write on this corner. I've made it thicker but I don't need all of it so I'm going to take a little bit off with the spatula and put it back onto the bottle because I don't want to waste it because then I can make more later. I'm going to make mine um, almond shaped because I think they're the most flattering on me but you can do it you can make your nails as long or as short or as whatever shape you want it's up to you that's one of the great things about these is you don't have to go to a salon to get your nails done and you can just make it however you want so I'm going to cure it, I'm going to file all my nails, make sure they're thick enough and then I'll get back to you guys <laughs> all done filing them that's what they look like super cute and they just they're so light you guys they feel so nice and so natural like i don't even feel like i have fake nails on they just feel like they just feel perfect all right guys so this is the final product i was gonna put some sparkles on but i decided not to let me just give a quick review on what I think of gel polish and gel poly nails or whatever. Anyways, I love them. I think they're a great way to go um, if you're looking for longer nails. For me personally, my nails don't grow long because they're really weak and so if I do grow them out long they will break and they will chip off and just peel and ugh. and I can never get them to grow long but I love long nails so that's why I love them is because I love having long nails a lot of you probably have the same situation where your nails just don't grow and so Fake nails is a great way to have long nails and and not worry about them breaking off or taking a super long time to grow because that happens too. One concern you might have is, well, it doesn't look very natural. I think it looks pretty natural. I think it looks like natural nails are just painted, but if you want to go even more natural and make it look like an actual nail. There's the clear nail, uh, there's the clear um, poly gel. Here, I'll show you. Clear. So, yeah, you can make it look super natural if you wanted to. But I think it's super fun. Um, 
great for the summer glow up because I wanted to do my nails so bad. It's also very affordable. Um, doing your nails at the salon is about the same as getting this full kit off of Amazon. <laughs> It's possibly cheaper to get this full kit off of Amazon. It just means you have to do it on your own. And if you mess up, it's your fault. And that's okay. It's trial and error, but you get to do it as much as you want. And it's going to give you a lot more manicures out of that one kit than going to the salon for the same price. So I think it's a really, really great choice. It's has four colors and usually what I do is I will these last me up to two weeks about I could probably make it last longer but then it's starting to grow out and getting a little brittle so I go one week like this where it's the actual poly gel color and then I'll either add some sparkles to this color or I will um, paint over it with one of my other regular nail polishes like next week i'm probably gonna go with a purple because it's not in the kit so i'm gonna go with purple you could do matte you know whatever you want and switch it up and then i can have a different manicure every week but it's still the same manicure if you know what i mean anyways i think it's a really great choice i love it if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I can help. I will leave the kit I got in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.